Okay. We did it. When I built this studio, my goal was to look professional, and now I'm recording on a beanbag chair. Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle, this is Zaz, and this is Elle's Reptiles. This week, we are talking all about what to do when your bearded dragon wakes up from brumation. I've done a entire video all about brumation not that long ago, but this one's just focusing on when they wake up specifically because the weather is kind of getting warmer. It's like 60 something degrees outside. She's up and she's been up for like, a week or two and it's really exciting. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by you guys, so make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about our Etsy shop, elsreptiles.etsy.com. So really quick before we get started, let's talk quickly about what brumation is. Essentially, it's just like hibernation light. <laughs> and each bearded dragon does it a little differently. Some will sleep for just months straight. That's what she has been doing lately. Some will get up and get down. That's what she used to do. Or they'll kind of get up, they'll get water, and then they just kind of go back to sleep or they'll get up and they'll be very groggy and they'll go back to sleep. And they'll just kind of do that over and over all throughout the winter season. Brumation is only done by adults. Babies do not brumate, so that is very important because brumation can often look like sick symptoms. But if you're here on this video, that means your bearded dragon has just got up for months and months of sleep. So it's pretty safe to assume that they were brumating and not sick because after months and months of being asleep and not eating or drinking, if they were just sick with like parasites or something, that outcome would not have been great. So you're here, it's safe to assume that they are waking up from brumation. First huge tip, do not try to force them awake. I know that when bearded dragons brumate, we miss them and we want them to wake up and we want to see them again and hold them, but don't try to force your bearded dragon to wake up. Once the temperatures outside start to raise, if your bearded dragon is still sleeping, you can just increase the temperature of their hot side just a little bit. And that might encourage them to go ahead and start getting up, but don't just like reach in and pull them out and put them on their hot side to try to make them wake up because most of the time doing this, they're not gonna actually stay awake. They're gonna go right back to sleep as soon as you're not looking. But as frustrating as it is, and as much as we miss them, let them wake up when they want to wake up. I've made the mistake of trying to get her up. It doesn't work. Just save yourself that heartache and save them the stress of you trying to do that. Are my lights not on yet? I'm recording this early because I'm sick and my voice is going to be gone probably by the end of the day. So we're getting this out of the way. So once you do notice that they're up and they're basking or even moving around just a little bit and being awake, you can go ahead and just give them water. They have probably not drank water in quite a while and so they're going to be quite thirsty. I do this by using a dropper on the tip of her nose up here, just dropping droplets of water and after a few drops, she'll kind of understand that it's water and she'll start to drink. It's never immediately she sees the water and she starts drinking. It does take a second. That's how I do it. You can also take Take a water bottle and if there's plants around your bearded dragon you can miss those plants they may drink from there you can put a water bowl in there definitely make sure they have clean water if you do give your bearded dragon a water bowl i know a lot of people don't because most bearded dragons don't drink out of water dishes but if yours does that's fantastic super easy the first thing that i always do when i notice that she is getting up is just give her water and she will sit there and drink so much water 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 is important Next thing, let them get up and bask for a day or so before you feed them anything. They have been probably on their cold side or in the shade for months upon months. Things aren't moving. Let your bearded dragon warm up and be ready to eat. Before you give them any kind of food, just let them be ready for that. For Zaz, she usually won't eat anything until she's warmed up enough. So even if I were to try to feed her on the first day, she would just kind of look at it. But just let them warm up for, like I said, at least 24 hours. Some might need more time than that before you start eating them. Before you start giving before you start giving them anything to eat. Otherwise, you run the risk of food getting stuck in their digestive tract because things aren't moving and already they're gonna have to use the bathroom at some point. It's not gonna be a fun time for them. So we don't want to complicate things further. And on that same note, go ahead and double check your temperatures too. Because again, especially if your bearded dragon has been asleep for, I don't know, three or four months, you need to make sure that those temperatures are good. Make sure the basking spot is still warm enough. Make sure, I mean, a whole season has probably gone by. So the temperatures in your house might've changed. The temperature on the basking spot might've changed. Make sure those are still good. Double check that that UVB hasn't expired. Zaz woke up and her UVB light went out the very next day. Just blue, the very next day. She has a new one now, you can see how bright it is in here. If you use any kind of tracker or anything, just double check that it's not expired. The last thing you want is for them to come out, be ready to get up, 
and the temperatures be too cold or the UVB light not to be putting out UVB and then them feel like, oh, it's still winter and go back to sleep. That's going to be very irritating. Make sure all that is good to go. And honestly, if your bearded dragon follows a good schedule, she does not. If your bearded dragon does follow like a pretty good yearly formation schedule, maybe check these things a couple weeks ahead of time before they start to wake up. You know they're going to wake up next week. Maybe go ahead and start checking those things. It won't hurt to ruffle around in the tank a little bit if they're about to wake up soon. Yeah, just to make sure. Just so you don't run into the same situation we did where her light went out and she was in the dark for four days right after she woke up. Luckily, she did not go back to sleep, but it was not fun. I really wish they'd sell the the big long UVB lights in stores. That'd be nice. So once they are up and a day or two has gone by and they are ready to eat, my biggest suggestion here is to start with softer foods. So maybe not giving them 25 large crickets right off the bat. Maybe things like hornworms. I tried out Repti Links for my animals not that long ago and those are very soft. Like if you open up the link and give them that soft food inside. I think even in that video I made a comment about how this would be really good for after brumation because it's so soft and very nutritious. Maybe a couple of wax worms, just very soft things, grated or boiled squashes, anything that's soft and that's going to be kind of easy to get going. Even like maybe Rapashi, like the bearded dragon food that you make. Normally I don't suggest that as a staple, but after brumation it could be very helpful for them. Not the pellets, the ones that you like microwave and you cut up and you feed the cubes to them because again, nothing has moved through here in months upon months. So you want to make this as easy as possible for them. Silkworms, silkworms, fantastic if you can get them. One of you guys on Patreon actually suggested coastal silkworms, I think, to get silkworms from, which I had never heard of. So I was always just waiting for Josh's frogs to get silkworms in. So that is also an option. Even freshly malted doobie roaches, freshly malted worms, things like that, soft things. And back to the whole crickets thing, I like to avoid crickets anyway when they first wake up because bearded dragons always have parasites. They always have a specific small amount of parasites in their body, but stress can make that number explode and that's when they get sick, that's when they get parasites. Crickets have been known to carry parasites, so when they're first getting up and they're kind of vulnerable, I do like to avoid crickets for a little while anyway. Just throw that out there. And once they do start eating those veggies, I like to just spray down the salads every single time. I try to do that anyway throughout the year, but especially after brumation, just spray down those salads. That way they're getting all of the water, all of the moisture. Um, make sure those bugs are gut loaded, of course and hornworms have a high amount of moisture content anyway so that's gonna be really good soft squishy hydrating foods <laughs> and the next step once they have started eating giving them warm shallow baths can help them in several different ways number one again things haven't been moving through his body so warm water on their tummies can help them to use the bathroom which is definitely necessary after all of this also a lot of times bearded dragons will drink out of the bath water that they're in make sure that once they use the bathroom if they use the bathroom there you take them out don't let them drink that water but when they first get in they will drink the water in there because it's moving they can see it so they can hydrate that way helps them use the bathroom and honestly at this point they've been sitting in the same exact spot for months upon months they are probably kind of dusty and they probably need to be rinsed off anyway especially like for me i have dogs dogs bring in so much dust it's insane but I'm assuming that you're not going into your bearded dragons tank every day with a feather duster don't do that don't do that to them but they need to be rinsed off they need to be bathed so giving them a bath is going to be helpful several different ways they may not use the bathroom for a little bit right after they wake up from brumation and that is perfectly okay we just want to make sure that they're hydrated enough to go and that they are given the opportunity to help them go I'm always a fan of warm baths or bearded dragons but especially after brumation 10 out of 10. quick note the temperature of the water for a warm bath i like to use my temperature gun and just get it about the same as their hot spot if they were just basking in their hot spots i don't know 99 degrees just get the water about that much and that way they will go into the water and be calm and not panicky from temperature shock you definitely don't want to get that water too hot and you don't want it to be too cold if they've been warming up so temperature gun great for that but that is about it. That is all that I have for this week's video. Hopefully it was helpful, especially if your bearded dragon is waking up and you don't know what to do because it is exciting and shocking and confusing the first time your bearded dragon wakes up from their brumation. Hopefully this video helped. If you have any specific tips for after your bearded dragon wakes up from brumation, make sure to leave them in the comments below because you might help someone out. 
As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by you guys who support our Etsy shop. Our Etsy shop, we sell a bunch of animal stuff. So we have feeding ledges, mushroom climbing ledges, crystal climbing ledges. We have stickers. We have tank labels. We have personalized vinyl stickers for your reptile tanks. We have so much stuff. Make sure if you have not already to check out elsreptiles.etsy.com to take a look at those things. And yeah, thank you so much to all the people that have supported our shop. Thank you. You are awesome. As always, if you haven't already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out is here. And this week's Instagram shout out is here. Thank you so much for liking, following, and subscribing, and commenting, and sharing, and all that jazz. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Bye. You are so cute. All right, check this first before I get zazzle dazzle. Ooh, not even close. <laughs> It's toasty, but somehow you were cold. Okay. You just want to do the show today? You are so dark. Absorb those lights. Absorb those LED lights. Once the temperatures outside start to raise, you can start to like... <clears throat> okay, we're gonna just adjust this. Um, where are you going? Um, I guess, I guess this is fine. Mushroom. Can I just, okay. All right. All right. <laughs>